いなってあげる。Welcome. This is Top Tier Tips. Greetings, everyone. This is Force Nature Top Tier Tips, and I welcome you to another Dead or Alive 6 guide. In this session, we're going to be taking a look at a guest from the DOAX Venus Vacation series, Tamaki. Tamaki is a practitioner of Aikido. Aikido is based around essentially throws and holds. So I'll show you this right now. This is 616. This is Tamaki's go to offensive hold. This move is cheap. Any variation of this move is cheap. So essentially, your game plan with Tamaki is to be trying to base around、um, essentially either trying to hit this move or getting the opponent to try and respect this move. Tamaki's not an offensive or, mo or mobility based character. For instance, her Korean backdashing is not really that good compared to. Compared to some other characters. And with regards to frame edge, I don't think Tamaki has a single move that is frame advantage on block. Well, except the break blow, of course. So for opening up an opponent, you're going to be using like 616. And you can also do that as strings, like 6B, 6T, for instance. There's frame advantage lows like 1K or 2K or 2H was K, I mean. So what is Tamaki's strength? Is her expert holds? For instance, that is 67H. That is forward, up, back, H. What makes this different compared to other characters with effort expert holds, such as like Lei Fang or Bayman, is that Tamaki's can hold her expert holds for an extra 10 frames. That is freaking amazing. Like, it's not quite as long as like Aoi's,、um, like kind of her own parries from、um, VF, but it, it's still pretty good and helps out Tamaki's、um, gameplay. But before I go on, I just want to thank Smart Esports and Trollcoin for endorsing this video. And as always, if you like this video, smash that like button. If you didn't like this video, just hit the like button anyway. And don't forget to subscribe for more juicy 3D Fighter content. I also want to take this moment to thank my premium top tier fighters for their continued support, which I do appreciate. If you'd like to become a premium top tier fighter yourself, click on the Patreon link down below. Anyways, once you're done, Tamaki's. Command training. And combo challenge. Then you're ready to bop some fools online. What is it that Tamaki does again exactly? Alright, so we're in training mode. So I'm just gonna slap on the best box in the fighting game universe to move details box.、So、I'm gonna go fight screen info, display skill info, training mode only. Well, training only. So left side for Tamaki, right for Ayane. We just need left side as Tamaki. And boom, best box. Alright, so let's just see what Tamaki is packing first. Alright, she's got a 10 frame jab, a 12 frame elbow. And a 13 frame low jab. So this is 5P, 6P, and 2P. D these are good these are good striking frames. It's not the fastest. Like, like Kasumi is like a 9, 11, 12, for instance. But 10, 12, and 13 is really good. Alright, so in close, like I said, that、um, Tamaki's pressure is not really the greatest because she doesn't, it's not really rocking much in terms of on block frame advantage. So essentially, what you're going to be doing to try and open people up is either stuff like 6P, 6T. Again, the offensive hold or PPP. 6T. You can also get it off of 3P. 6T, even though I don't really like 3P that much. I think this move high crushes a bit, so it's it's a little, it's two frames slower than 6P, but this move. But 3P, I think high crushes, and then again, it goes into the throw. The main thing also why I want you to kind of base your offense around like your jab or your elbow, aside from that, I mean being like the usual for most characters. The main reason is because the 6P or like jab, jab, PP have the most kind of、um, options that you can work with. Like with 3P, let's see, you have like what? 3PP and you have a minus 10 on block move. That's unsafe. With 6P, you have 6PP. See, this is minus 6. This is called semi safe. You can't be guaranteed throw punish for that, and you can just do like a little fuzzy guard. The only thing the opponent can do is try and do a neutral throw to be able to do that. So, I mean, it's not really much to worry about. And of course, 6P has this obnoxious、um, offensive hold out of it, so you can do 6PP. If you think for some reason that the opponent's going to want to sidestep, because I don't know why the hell they'd want to, but it's still an option, you have 6PK right here. This move's just like、um, your, your go to, well, one of your go to tracking moves, which is.、Um, 4H was K, so this move is good. Another track, good tracking move is also your go to low. Is 1K.、Um, if you'd like a high crushing low, which is also a good、uh, a good high crushing itself, it's、um, 2H was K. It's a little slower than 1K at 23 frames as opposed to 20 frames, but both of them are good lows. If you want a good high crushing、um, tracking low, then 1P is good. 1P is also great if you want to. 
If you do it twice in a row, you can get a four second. You can also do uh, 1k, then 2k, also to wake people up. So, I mean, um, Tamaki's 2k is also pretty decent. It's 14 frames. It, um, well, it's crap on normal hit, like most 2k's usually are. But if you connect on counter hit, get your usual plus 11 stun. Unfortunately, it's plus 11. You can't do anything with that. But it's like for... Like, it's, it's just basically just like frame event. Aside from the stuff that I showed you out of the 6B string, um, some other good, some good, some uh, go to stuff that you can do out of the jab string is like PP 2K. So that's the same low as 1K. This is your, this is one of your frame advantage lows along with 2H plus K. So you see plus, uh, plus 6 or plus 7 depending on distance for anything that's like 1K and plus 9 for 2H plus K. So PP, PP 2K is good. Um, if you, um, the, another thing you can also use to open up the opponents, I just showed you is PPP. 60 right here. So that's an offensive hold. So the opponent has to either crouch or perform uh, some sort of throw in order to beat it out. So it's a offensive holds are just like good and cheap in general. So the thing about P, uh, PPP is you see it goes high, 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 mid, where PP2K is high, high, low. So PP2K it conditions the opponent to crouch after that. So with PPP, the opponent has to stand to not get hit by that move. So so then, I mean, if you're standing blocking, then that means they have to, they have to be standing blocking, then duck. So they have to guess it either if you're doing PP 2K or PPP 60. And of course, if they're gonna crouch or anything, that means you smack them with the PPP, for instance. And if, for instance, the opponent is stunned or anything, that then you have like, uh, let me just get this right. And you could launch with like PPK for for instance. That's a kind of like a launch stringer PP. Okay, uh, Tamaki's launchers include 3P plus K, and she has a hop kick, 9K. This move will beat out Lowe's nicely. Um, she also has a bounce launcher, another mid kick, 8K, and uh, her high crush launcher is 8P. So this move also can ground the opponent with 8PP. So general for hot for your your high go to will be H plus K when it connects on counter hit or during stun. Uh, your mid kick go-to will be uh, 9k which can launch a normal hit and your mid punch and also your general go-to or your best launcher is 3p plus k. Oh and like Pi from VF, Tamaki has an 11 frame mid punch stop sign right here so this is a nice kind of get off me move and, and it's also kind of thing you can smack the opponent with if they like to like, disrespect frames. Being a close range Aikido fighter, generally Tamaki does not like fighting at range. Like she just doesn't really work that well at range. Although you do generally at range, your focus is to be trying to get in. All right, so a good get in tool you can use is just simply doing um well, 6K it leaves you at minus six. So that means you have to do a fuzzy guard with like three three H afterwards. So that's like basically your relatively safe safest option. Like you don't really have frame advantage or anything. Although you do kind of have a really kind of semi gimmicky tool that you can use is make the opponent respect Tamaki's run and throw. This move is a run and offensive hold that is leaves you in a crouching state. So kind of like Mila's on Taco. So you can occasionally do use that move. And once you get to around, um, well, mid range, mid close range, you can try and sneak in like 6-6-T. Or a move you can kind of use to get in with is to simply do 6pp. Again, also leaves you at minus 6. And then when the opponent's expecting a second hit, then you can start to sneak in the offensive hold. So you mix in these two you mix in these two well just to keep the opponent off balance. With regards to Pokin, your go-to Pokin move with uh, Tamaki will be your 4k. Alright, so this move leaves you at minus 5 in back turn. This is Tamaki's go-to move for going into back turn. So it leaves you at uh, minus five. So after this, you can use um, P plus K. This move is a Sabaki move. A Sabaki moves is it's a it's a strike attack that beats out a, the opponent's strike. Like you can see in the frame data right now that you have five frame um, Sabaki, and then after that, then it, you have eleven frames, and it, then the move, then two active frames are when the move actually comes out. So that's four, five, eleven. So it's like a nine a nineteen frame move. This is your four six P. Alright, it's a little slower. 
So the kind of the kind of idea, if you just want to see how, the, how what the actual frame is, is four, five, fifteen. It is um well that's that would be twenty twenty four frames before the move actually comes out. Two active two active frames and then twenty five re recovery frames. But the main thing about this move is that it's your go to Sabaki move. So it is a really good good move. To mix up with peak, uh, to mix up with uh, people's K, you can also use your your jab string right there. It's the same thing. Ten frame jab. Uh, your your two P becomes sixteen frames. Uh, your your two K is the same as like two H plus K. So this is your 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 high crush of choice. Even though I'm, well, as you see right here from back turn, her two P ends up tracking. Even though it's not like unsafe on block. But in general, you're gonna be using like uh, P plus K. Jab jab or 2P in general. For other poking tools, you have your your 3K. All right, this move comes out in 14 frames, so that's pretty fast. That's only like two frames faster than just simply doing your elbow. It's minus seven on block, so that means it's semi safe, same as like minus six, unless you're facing a grappler with six frame throws. But not many characters have six frame throws. But um, mainly, I see it's minus seven. Even if you can do it around tip range, it's generally minus seven. It's hard to see if it, it has two active frames, so it should be able to go minus six, but. It seems almost kind of impossible with this move. So this is the same move as like PK. So it's another move. It's a uh, so basically out of your your jab string you get a, a high mid option out of there as opposed to just using PPs. Even though using jab jab is okay for kind of establishing space or distance since it's literally a, a jab. For whip punishment you can use Tamaki's close hit move for 236P. This move comes out in 15 frames so that's pretty fast. It does 32 damage which is kind of okay. If you can manage to get the close hit it's 48 but you have to be fairly close well, to be able to get that close hit. But at 15 frames it's a, it's a good kind of almost like a death fist like move so it's I mean that's pretty cool. Wish it could do at least 40 damage. Uh, another move you can also use is 66K. I might, have, I might have showed this move earlier that you can end up um force Tekken afterwards with uh, 1P 1P or 1k 2k then and then you can kind of like mix and try and sneak in the offensive hold or go for like like an elbow or anything like that or like even like a, a three a three p if you think these opponents gonna try and duck or go for a throw oh and one more thing because 4k ends up going to back turn a technique you can do is do 4k and press 4 4 and you then you end up like cre creating a bit of space because you see you end up doing a back dash each way so this kind of augments how good of a poke 4k is Tamaki's throw game is reasonably strong. Alright, I'll just show off right now. Here's her 5 frame neutral throw, switch sides, does 45 damage. Her 7 frame throw ends up just chucking the opponent. Ends up just chucking the opponent forward. And her 4T, her 10 frame throw. Again, it switches sides, does 56 damage, so that's pretty standard. Alright, Tamaki has two 12 frame throws. Her quarter circle forward T. This this throw is used if you, it does 62 damage, but if the, if the opponent has their back to the wall, this is your environmental or wall damage throw. Alright, for your hold punish throw or the throw to do extra damage, you do quarter circle back T. Alright, this does 65 damage, so on, on high counter, this will end up be doing 97 damage. The strength of Tamaki's throw game comes from her offensive holds. For instance, 6-6-T, like I said before, is kind of like cheap. This is basically just your go-to throw in general. So like 6-6-T is good at range, you can use um, run and T. Again, if the opponent expects it, it will become a bit of a gimmick and then they can, they can beat it with a low, a, low, a low throw of their own. But yeah, but this move does cover a lot of range, the run, the run and offensive hold. And the fact that it's crouching can end up um, throwing people off a bit. But yeah, still use it a bit, a bit sparingly. Its strength is its its range, and also uh, showed you throughout this guide that a big thing about Tamaki are offensive holds and strengths. Six P sixty is generally your go to. Three P sixty is only if you want just to kind of that use in three P because of its high crush prop, its high crush uh, kind of um, capabilities. Or also, if you think the opponent's gonna go for a hold, then you, te you technically get counter hold damage if you do it against. Not as much as um, high counter throw damage, but it's still pretty decent. If you actually stun the opponent with the move, then the then the throw won't work. It's for if the opponent blocks the first part. That's most when you're most likely gonna be using it. Maki is one crouch and throw and one crouch and offensive hold. Her crouch and throw is five frames. Ends up switching sides and does um, 50, 50 damage. And her low offensive hold is 10 frames. Take note that her offensive hold does not make a sound. She doesn't make a sound or anything. It's just simply 10 frames, so it's slower. Momoji has a 10 frame low throw, but it's not an offensive hold. And it's, it looks exactly the same, but this one is indeed a low offensive hold because Tamaki is an offensive hold character. 
this move actually does more damage than, than um than 2T. It does it would do 53 damage as opposed to 50 damage. So I mean it's a it's a pretty standard low offensive hold and actually looks pretty awesome because Tamaki just poses after a lot of her throws. Despite being a character with a reasonably strong throw game, Tamaki actually does not have any combo throws or any throws that lead into combos. However, her string her string for instance, her string throws can actually are also her air throws. Look at this one, for instance, off of a counter hit 3P plus K. Oh, and Tamaki has a throw out of back turn, so that's another option after you do 4K and the opponent thinks they can push buttons. You get a back turn offensive hold just by pressing the T button. Tamaki's hold game is pretty strong. I mean, that other than her offensive holds, her defensive holds is the other reason why you would be playing the character. Alright, that right there was her high punch hold. So the main thing with uh, Tamaki's holds is that she keeps the opponent, um... She keeps the opponent pretty close by and does, like, decent damage. See, her holds are particularly good against punches, for instance. So you get 60 damage, so that'd be 90 on high counter. That's a mid-punch mid hold. So I'm just basically just going through these holds just for formality right now. And here's the low holds. See, all of them keep the opponent close to 60 damage. The holds aren't as good against kicks, but they're still, like, pretty good. So they end up doing um, 58, 58 damage instead. Here's the mid kick hold. And also just, just due to uh, the fighting style being Aikido, the, the, the holds just look really graceful. Like, I just love how they look. And now what makes Tomaki's ho um, defensive hold game dangerous are her expert holds. Unfo uh, unfortunately, she doesn't have any expert holds for kicks, but for instance, she has one for high punch, one for mid punch. And one for um, low punches, so that's um, 6-7-H, 6-4-H, and 6-1-H respectively for high, mid, low. Um, she doesn't have any, like, like I said, for like um, high kick, mid kick, or low kick. But yeah, but just, I'll just let you know right now that punch heavy opponents. I'm not going to name names, you know who you are. Beware, do not punch against Tamaki. Because like I showed you earlier, for Tamaki's um, three expert holds, she can hold them for 10 frames longer than other characters to have expert holds like even Ioni has an expert uh, mid punch hold and expert uh, mid kick hold so you can just literally just hold down the input and you get it for an extra 10 frames you see right there 28 frames total if you don't hold it down just 18 but well the, the problem of course is if you whiff it and you hold it down and the opponent like calls you on it then of course you will get throw punished for it Tamaki's expert punch hold leaves her at plus 13 plus back turn. So that's the same as plus 18 because it takes 5 frames to turn around and block. So that means that you get 9k guaranteed no problem. For the expert punch hold is almost the same. It leaves you at plus 14 plus back turn so you still get 9k guaranteed and you can get H plus K guaranteed too. Although there's a little caveat to that. Because that's a... Because that's a high... What that means is that the opponent can actually crouch under it. If I could show you right now what I mean. You see right there, it can be crouched under, so just go for 9k. Tamaki's expert punch hold is by far the most dangerous. It leaves her at plus 17 plus back turn. So that means that this... This dirtiness right here is guaranteed. Tamaki doesn't have exactly the strongest wall game, but if you do have the opponent at the wall with Tamaki, then wall slam with stuff like 6-6-K, H plus K, if you want the small wall slump, there's like 6-K, uh, 6-K-K, well not P plus K, 6-P plus K, 6-6-P for instance. Oh, a nice little caveat with uh, Tamaki is that basically like none of her launchers really wall slam, like 9-K, uh, 3-P plus K, 8k doesn't, 8p doesn't, honestly just really, h plus k is the only one it does, but if you do uh, end up um, 
wall slamming the opponent. Then you can fall with 3 people skate and 3 PP, or you can also just use the Fatal Rush 2 if you so desire. Alright guys, that's it for now. I'd like to I'd like to thank you for joining me on this fruituous um, Tamaki journey. But yeah, once again I'd like to thank Smart Esports and Trollcoin for endorsing this video. And as always, if you like this video, smash that like button. If you didn't like this video, just hit the like button even harder. And don't forget to subscribe for more juicy 3D fighter content. Like I have a lot of DOA content, both advanced and beginner guides, and character guides for the entire cast, including a couple advanced guides. Uh, once again, I would also like to give a thank you to my um, premium top fighters for their continued support. If you'd like to support the channel and become a premium top uh, top tier fighter yourself, then feel free to click the Patreon link down below. Um, if you have any further questions, feel free to contact me on my YouTube, Twitter, Twitch. Uh, that, so that means leaving a very delightful comment down below. You can also contact Force Nature on freestepdodge.com. Anyways, this is Force Nature signing off. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you next time on Top Tier Tips. Winner! Oh, oh, oh.